What's up everybody, my name is JC and in today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to zoom in on your videos. I'm going to show you guys how to use keyframes and I'm also going to show you guys just how to do a basic zoom in on your video. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we are in DaVinci Resolve and you can see we have our clip that we want to zoom in on. You can see it's just kind of this static shot, not really much happening. So first thing that we want to do is click on our clip. And I'm going to show you guys the easiest way first, and then I'm going to show you an alternative way to do this. Easiest way, in my opinion, is to just click on your clip, go up here, and it's going to say dynamic zoom. And then if you want to zoom in, we're going to have to hit swap. All right, and then you're going to want to go over here underneath the viewer, click on this little arrow, and then go to dynamic zoom. And now you can see a couple of boxes are going to appear. So green is where your video is going to start off at and red is where it's going to end up. OK, so it's going to zoom from this green box into this red box here. So if we play the video, we can see it's zooming in. OK, and then if we mess with the red box, let's make it smaller so that it's more zoomed in. We can go ahead and do that. And you can see we're going to zoom further in on the image. OK, now let's say you wanted to zoom out of an image. What you could do is just go to swap and then it's going to swap the green and the red box. Then you can go in and now you can see we're zooming out. OK, this can also be a really cool effect, too. All right, I'm going to swap it back. So then we can go over here and mess with this little drop down menu. And by default, it's going to be on linear. So it's just going to smoothly zoom in or out. Nothing crazy. I'm going to reset this and then we're going to go over to ease in and test that out and see what happens. And you can see it eases in more. It's not continuous like linear. And then if we go ahead and hit swap, you can see same thing. It's going to ease back out. OK, so really cool way to just add zooming into your videos. So I'm going to actually turn that off and show you guys another way that you can do this. All right. So now you can see we just have our clip again. We're not zooming in or out or anything. And I'm going to go to the very beginning. And I'm going to go up here. I'm going to make sure my clip is selected. I'm going to go up to transform. I'm going to hit this little diamond here so that all these little red diamonds are going to light up. All we're going to worry about is zoom, though, so you don't have to worry about any of these other ones. OK, so we're at the very beginning of the clip. All the diamonds are on. I'm going to go to the end of the clip and then I'm going to move this zoom in. I'm going to click on it and hold. And then you can see we're zooming in at the end here. So now this is keyframe. So what's going to happen is as we play this, you can see it's going to be zooming in basically just like we had our dynamic zoom. I personally like dynamic zoom because it's easier to mess with the easing and it's also easier to see exactly what your zoom is going to be because it has the nice little boxes. But either way is fine. Personally, again, I like dynamic zoom. And of course, this means that if you just wanted to reframe your image, you could go ahead and mess with the zoom without the keyframes and then mess with the position so that maybe the boat is in the middle of this image. And there you go. You can mess with that, too. You don't have to just keyframe it and zoom it. You can also go ahead and reframe your image by messing with the zoom and the position and everything. OK, so with that being said, that's how you zoom in on your videos. Hope this was helpful for you guys. And if you like these type of videos, go ahead, like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.